Welcome to Renison University College. Here at Renison, we pride ourselves in being a diverse and socially accepting culture. Academia is focused on community and culture, and all of its various parts, including acceptance and diversity. This presentation will explore how Renison portrays these values with its use of artwork on the campus. After years of cultural oppression, Rene Mishik discovers peace and tranquility through his paintings. The Wolf Woman, a chaotic masterpiece created with soft strokes, lures the audience with a sense of calm. His grandmother's eyes are gentle, while her inner spirit animal, the wolf, roars through. Colors so soft, he expressed in a burst. His built-up anger is splashed abstractly on the canvas, yet he is able to create a peace defining acceptance. The white-blue gradient that peeks behind the woman's face resembles the sky expressing the struggle for freedom. We are taken through a journey of struggle, discovery, and healing as Renee makes painting his new addiction and uses the brush as a drug. The Canadian Pacific Railway, symbolically known to unite Canadians from coast to coast, has an oppressive past. 10,000 Chinese people brought to work hopelessly on a railway they would probably never use. Men and women work knees deep in Canadian soil, carelessly hauling around metal tracks. The view is breathtaking, but the smog from the train takes their breath away. Hammers are swung and knives cut deep without a second thought. Workers expose themselves, naked as night, unaware of the dangers around them. Mothers huddle like a flock of birds, shielding their infant children. The sun beams down vicious rays, which glistens the workers' blood, sweat, and tears. The heat has their body trapped, but the harsh labor has captured their soul. Renison has a lot of donated artwork, but what some people don't know is that some of the artwork is actually originally made by people who are connected to the university. The Renison Unity Sculpture was made in May of 2013 by the son of Renison's first principal, Nicholas Rees, made from two trees original to Renison College. This sculpture represents the unity of Renaissance multiculturalism. The sculpture resembles the inner workings of a machine. All the different pieces of wood resemble all the gears and cogs that are connected in body and goal, and only when working together can achieve the end result. As well, the cross in the background, what some people don't see, reminds me of a chain that connects all of these different pieces and allows it to move together. The cross in the background is to be a reminder of, Re of Renaissance religious foundation that it was built on. A second piece of artwork that was made original to Renaissance was the Renny Moose quilt. This quilt brings a family theme to Renaissance. Many different backgrounds have traditions of passing down quilts through generations of family to symbolize love and caring. The quilt is made up of different renditions of the Renaissance logo and the Renny Moose in different types of actions. The different length scenes and different colors make me think of different nationalities and experiences that are all brought together through Renison. This quilt symbolizes the international community that Renison has made. That Renison can be your home away from home when you're thousands of miles away. The painting is a solitary description of Christ on the cross with only a shadow and snow-covered Alps as a background. Perhaps this can be interpreted as Christ being present in the most barren of landscapes. It is fitting that a chapel at RUC be named after an early religious scholar and monk, given the college's religious roots. St. Bede conveys and connects Christian thought and scholarship through the ages to modern-day scholarship at RUC. More than an accomplished theologian and a religious leader, Reverend Renison worked tirelessly as a missionary in Northern Ontario, as well as a chaplain in World War I. His focus was in the service of others. Thus, Reverend Renison is a true role model for selfless works and an inspiration to generations of scholars at RUC. The first thing that comes to the eye is the vibrant red dress, which is put in sharp contrast with the pale-skinned woman. The bright orangish red pairs beautifully with the light blue highlights blending hazily into each other, like the sun setting over a misty lake. The yellow waist cloth sits atop the red of the dress, drawing the eyes towards it. Its blue and white accents spirals across the cloth like a raging wave, creating a complex centerpiece that ties the whole picture together. The authoritative pose struck by the woman gives her a powerful presence, like a deity floating above a lake. 
with a crown of black hair tied tightly high above her head. This painting brings life to the otherwise dull corridor where it is hung up. The warm colors lifts the entire space, adding the much needed variety in color. The gold frame of Reverend Lee's portrait contrasts it from the rest, like the knob on a video's progress bar. To its left, the images represent her past achievements and contributions to the world. The way the images are arranged, the brown frames look like dust kicked up by Reverend Lee as she makes her mark in society. The imbalance of the composition to the right suggests a rightward motion representing all the things that she could accomplish in the future. The colors of the images are all relatively soft. They fit in harmoniously with the color of the wall. This minimal contrast creates an atmosphere of sophistication. The subjects within the paintings are also elegant and reflect upon the reverend's scholarly temperament.